I'm Dave Banks, we're at General... Oh, here we go. He's doing it. He's starting it. I'm going to try that again. I'm Dave Banks, we're at Beer Brand HQ, and we're cutting Connor's hair and beard today. Like, I've yeah. always gone and, like, <laughs> cut off the curls. Yeah. It just gets, um, So you're going to em lot. embrace the curl a bit? Yeah, I think yeah? so. Okay. Okay, keep the part in. And, and to kind of go for a nice, like, a low, a low blend through here with maybe a 0.5 instead of a, a zero. So it's quite short, but you'll keep all the bulk here. It will only be around here. And that way, if it's too much of a contrast and you think, oh, it's a bit short, it will grow back in here quite quickly. And it's, it's, a, it's a chance to try something new in that case. Yeah, why not? Sure. Yeah. yeah I can do that. And we're, gonna, we're not gonna take this too high. So we're gonna be going around there with the two and a half. Reason being that the blend is gonna be quite low. So if we take it really high up here, we're going to have a very large section. It's extremely thick hair. So we're starting to see that two and a half putting like an imprint in the hair now. It's not a really clear line, it's more of a, a contrast between hair that we can kind of see through here a hair that's really still quite thick okay just drop down for me so we're gonna use a 0.5 so we're just gonna open up the blade on the clipper and we're gonna start knocking out our second weight line guideline sorry and we're not we don't want this to be too straight, we want it to dip down, have a little bit of a, uh, an arc as it comes up above the ear. And we'll be, we'll be keeping the blend in that shape as well. A 0.5 is good as well if somebody's kind of going from, from like a 2 or a 1 or 1.5 one on the sides and they don't quite want to go to a skin fade. Or they've never had a skin fade because it can be quite a shock to go from 2.5 down to like double zero with a foil. It's can be a bit like, it's cold, it feels weird. Yeah, and even if you put like a hat on, you, like a beanie hat, your, uh, your hair kind of sticks to it, like Velcro. And especially with darker hair, it's very important to get the light right. So I'm looking, I'm always looking for that better angle. To see what I'm doing and kind of, Get some light on the situation. Okay, there's a little bit more copper coming through now as it's getting shorter on the sides. So we drop down to a one now, just using the lever. I'm starting to take shape, you can see it's starting to blend in. Yeah, but I can't be lost without a 0.5 guard. It's a really crucial part of uh, a barber's equipment. And we're going to do the same. I've got it in a 0.75 position. And we're just taking out that line. As soon as it's hitting, we're pulling away. So, I know the other Connor's quite a big fan of beer brand products. Have you tried any yourself, Connor? Uh, I have, yeah. Have I, you uh... been sharing his stash? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I use the uh, the wash and softener. Oh, the softener's good, man. Yeah. Yeah, I love uh, the softener. I'm going to have to get some up before I go back, to be honest. <laughs> I use uh, the uh, utility bomb. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and recognize where the curl is. And I'm going to cut just past that. through the Pareto Ridge. And I'm gonna use palm to face. And let's just start to kind of layer in. Okay, we're gonna kind of pre-style this. We're gonna use some salt spray. 
Yeah, so it, I, I uh, shot the mark there. Four vices. I'll give it a little shake first so there's a nice amount of foam in the bottle. And the ingredients have mixed yeah, properly. I, I think that's the thing. I think like most people We're gonna use it. A dry on a medium heat. Okay, so we're gonna take half the hair, take the fringe out of the equation, and we're gonna start blow drying backwards. And now I can just use a round brush to kind of titivate the top really and get it to sit how I want it to sit. Titivate. <laughs> I think it really I think it means uh kinda that motion. <laughs> Might just be a British term. We may have to use a, a three just to knock out a little bit of weight, but we're going to try with the silver comb first. I'm going to think about it as I'm trying to do hair and we'll see where it goes. But when's that there you go. I'm getting all the classic cuts today. Everybody wants a side part. It's nice. Bob the Barber featuring, featuring uh, J Balvin. Yeah. Nicki Minaj. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You've got a, uh, a scar on the back of your head. I don't know if you know that. Yeah. What was that from? Uh, snowboarding without a helmet. Okay. Snow soft, isn't it? Yep. Uh, the tree trunk I hit my head. Oh. Was not. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It was. Uh, uh, after that, I wore a helmet every time. Yeah, that does not sound very fun, mate. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. It was one hell of a concussion. Yeah. How's that feeling on the sides? Feels good. See how it creates more shape yeah. through here instead of just being a two down all the way to the mm -hmm. edge. It will kind of grow out nicer as well. So you might not need a haircut for like five weeks now mm -hmm. to get back to where you be, would be with the two. Yeah. You know, and the top will look nice and it'll kind of all flow back. Let's sit a bit tidier. We don't want to take too much hair from there because it'll be evident when it grows back. There'll be lots of short hairs there. But we do want to get a nice line through here. And you can use this in the beard as like a uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? It, it gives it some hold when I'm trying to trim it so that I'm not pushing the hair, I'm actually cutting the hair. Because sometimes you can push a clipper into a beard and it just the hair just moves around. So this will show the true extent of the beard as well. I feel weird, mate. <laughs> We're not going to take any length off the chin. It's just from what's underneath. We want that to grow out in this shape. So we've got a nice square line on the bottom. We're going to taper in through here. And we're going to tidy up just through the edges. Less is more uh, sometimes, and this is definitely the case here. I think the odd hair is gonna really change the shape of it. Not a, a more decisive kind of chunk taken out the beard. So maybe if we took loads of weight out here, don't think it's going to do the beard any favours. I think it's better to just take a little bit here and there. So we look a little bit weaker on this one side. I think we're probably better off evening that up instead of trying to leave one side thicker than the other. So it appears to be through this edge here. And the beard will look more full. 
and it'll have a better shape if we just take those few hairs off there, those hollow hairs. So I'm just going to tuck this gown down and I'm going to take these few hairs off. I can see they're growing up so I don't want to go against the grain because it will just be too harsh and the clip will either catch the hair and pull it or it may even rip it out so you want to go with the grain underneath the, uh, the neck until the hair is short enough. going to give it a really nice shape, it's a good symmetry. <laughs> I've got this uh, 0.5 guard open now, fully open, so it's in just under a 1. And I'm just kind of manoeuvring through that guard to blend this in. Because I've got to remember this is a 0.5. A little bit out of this section here, a little tough. So I only want to put a soft line in with the detailer. Uh, because obviously the blade's going to do the the final detailing, <coughs> so it's more. I'm just marking out where the where the blade's going to kind of start. Uh, the other thing I was going to say was, if you're trying to get a nice round line, if you pull the cheek up and do a straight line, when it drops, it has a natural curvature to it, which makes your life a lot easier when shaping. And then to finish, we're going to drop some. We've got sea salt spray in the hair, so maybe just a touch of styling balm to kind of give those curls some definition. Uh, and then we'll drop a little bit of styling uh, utility balm, sorry, in the in the beard. So this is not a liberal application of styling balm. I like to use quite a bit of this. Um, some people use just a touch, but I feel like it gives a nice shine if you get a good coverage in the hair. Okay, that's looking good, man. So you're definitely going to pull on Rainy Street tonight, mate. You got my satisfaction guarantee, mate. Right, where are we at? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, Roy? Feel a bit fresher? Good.